They know that it's important for them to develop that skill before they leave high school. And then this is a new one for us. So um, this came up over and over and over again, and it didn't matter if it was a Fitchburg public school student or um, a Gardner or Murdoch or Lemonster, students are really asking for um, proficiency when it comes to financial literacy. Um, and that's something that they're feeling um, especially unprepared um, for. So alumni, again, completely aligned with students, this, uh, this need to feel responsible, like they have control um, over what's going on in their lives. Problem solving and critical thinking came in at number two, and then this financial literacy surfaced as number three for them as well. For teachers, um, problem solving and critical thinking was the number one, um, and we saw that over and over again, regardless of whether it was a Fitchburg or a Lemonster or a Murdoch um, or Gardner. Responsibility for them came in at number two, and then this need to develop interpersonal communication and collaboration came in at number three for our teachers. So this was the first draft. So when you think about like the thousands and thousands of data points that we had, um, we then went to Inspire to Change and they really helped us synthesize that and pull out, okay, what are the, what are the through lines and the threads through all of this? And then we took that information one step far, further and went to Mount Machusett Community College and we tapped into their creative department. So their marketing department created this graphic as the first draft in the design process. So um, nobody is like, like emotionally attached to this. This is the first pass and any of our artists that are with us now know that there is a process to design. Um, so this is the first rendering. I'm not going to read every word to you, but again, so pulling out the, the, most, the most important aspects and the things that we saw over and over again. So the ability for our graduates to connect. Um, so interpersonal skills like connect, not only with their world, but person to person. Um, the ability for them to explore. So um, following their own curiosity. Um, we want them to be able to aspire. Um, so when they're thinking about goal setting and thinking big for their future, we also want them to be contributing members of their society and they really want that too. So, I mean, even if we go back to that first video, you heard Douglas and you heard Verda talk about how important it is for them to feel that they have a voice in their community um, and that they can enact change. We certainly want our graduates to be able to adapt. So I think um, one of the lessons that certainly has come out of the last year is how important it is to be flexible and to be able to adapt to new situations um, and also to still be able to thrive even when um, things like certainly in the past year have seemed, seemed quite uncertain. Um, we also are hoping that graduates are active citizens, um, critical and creative thinkers. We want them to think of themselves as problem solvers, we want them to be self-aware about their own impact in the world. They have said they want to be change makers um, and they're really looking for this ability to be responsible um, and impactful citizens. So in terms of Fitchburg Public Schools and especially the my lens of the high school, I think it's important for us to not think of Portrait of a Graduate as sort of one more initiative or one more thing that we're doing, but really find ways to embed that in everything that we're doing. So if it's our instructional focus or our accreditation, if it's our um, work-based learning initiative, SPED services, you know, when we're designing curriculum, when we're thinking about teaching, teaching and learning, um, all of our dual enrollment opportunities, how important sports and extracurriculars are to our students, the need for equity and making sure that learning is equitable, um, and even like our interdisciplinary projects to make sure that we are not forgetting everything that everyone shared with us um, about what they value and what they're hoping for um, from their learning experiences at Fitchburg High School and in Fitchburg Public Schools. So you are here tonight at the art show, so that's going on tonight. Um, we are rounding out our listening sessions this week.
But one thing I really want you to keep in mind and put on your calendar is April 14th. Um, and this directly came from Portrait of a Graduate Work. There is a Healthy Minds Virtual Student Conference. It's open to all students, grades um, two through 12. And they are the specific workshops that students were asking to learn about. So things like, you know, how do I, how do I go in and prepare for an interview? How do I fill out a job application? How do I apply for a car loan? Um, how do I cook a healthy meal? You know, so how do I how do I open a checking account? All of the things that students were really requesting specific skill-based things, we're offering workshops in that um, on April 14th. It's all virtual, so students can register ahead of time. It can be a virtual field trip for schools or classes. And then when students get in, they get to select the, um, they get to select the workshops that they would like to attend. So we will be sending out this feedback form, but we're really asking for your feedback on this image. So after everything that you have heard from the different speakers tonight, um, what you watched in the video, what you saw in the artwork, we need your help with this one because it needs to be able to speak to um, and honor and respect what everyone was saying. So. We're hoping that you can give us some feedback so we can go into round two of the design process and make sure that this graphic truly represents um, what we've learned over the past year. So at this point, I can, we can open it up if there are any questions or comments from anyone. What is, why, why is it called portrait of a graduate? Like, are you taking like, like, um, like information from the graduates? Like, is it, are you, is the idea that you're trying to coax information from the graduates and use it to form a plan? That, that's why it's called portrait of a graduate. I was a little bit confused by that. Yeah, Frank, that's a great question. So I think you, you sort of answered your own question. Um, but when we're thinking about it, we're thinking about a through line from kindergarten all the way to our graduates. So if when we think about portrait of a graduate, it is when someone is graduating from Fitchburg High School, what is it that we want them to know and be able to do? And what qualities and characteristics do we want to help them develop before they leave Fitchburg High School? I 100% I, I subscribe to that idea. Um, and I like what you're doing here very much. Uh, I love the arts. And um, another thing, but, but one suggestion I'd have, and I think you're already doing this, is possibly, um, possibly try to like integrate this into the school day. That's the first, first thing I want to say. I, I've, it's happened before. I've seen things like this. Uh, when I was in middle school, uh, the financial literacy thing, you already said, mm -hmm. it's super important. I took a financial literacy class in middle school. I think that should mm -hmm. be something that's available. That's just simply as a student. And also as a student, I'm going to have to agree with the other students in that one of the most important things of high school is that um, interpersonal relationship aspect. Um, I don't know if that's an important opinion at all. but No, I it is. Yes, thank you, Frank. Um, and I agree with you on both of those things. So what you are sort of getting to is 100% is right. So now that we know these things, how do we transfer those in a meaningful way into your school day? So that for you, it doesn't become something added on top of what you're already doing, but it's embedded in the learning that you're doing. Do you want to hear some ideas? Like, I, I don't know. I, I, I've had ideas. I, cause I, I've independently um, thought of many of these things, especially those regarding the interpersonal relationships. I don't know exactly how to pull off the financial literacy thing. I'm not an expert on 
school dynamics or anything. I'm no administrator. I'm no principal. I'm no teacher. But I am a student, and I do understand the kind of things that help develop the interpersonal relationships in my classes the most. And um, obviously group projects. Mm -hmm. My teachers do a lot of group projects in the Honors Academy. Um, I'm currently doing a group project on the Mormons. That's that's a lot of fun. And um, I, I also like the idea of having like extracurricular events somewhat dedicated to interpersonal relationships like dance, like things like this that we're doing where we have an art gallery. Like, um, like here was one idea that I, I've been... I've been thinking about for a little while, but mostly for Fitchburg High School at this point in time. I, I wanted to throw it out there now about having a Fitchburg High School um, outdoor movie night. I like that idea. Frank, see my pen? Can you see me? You see my pen? I'm I writing see. down your what you're saying right now. Thank you very much. I, I'm yeah. finished with that. Well, I appreciate you coming and I appreciate your feedback. So we do have two more minutes if anyone has anything else they'd like to add or ask. And I just wanted to let you know, we had coming over the questions, um, a comment uh, from Jeremy Roach. Said, excellent question, Frank. Thanks for asking the clip to clarify what we're hoping to see and envision for the graduates of the Fitchburg schools. But I, I would ask the question of what movie should we show, Frank? <laughs> I guess that's important too to know if we're going to do a movie night. <laughs> we could we could vote on the movies. There's a number of movies that we could show. My dad just suggested Rudy. Um, Good one. I, we could we could show some of the classics out there. Um, Jurassic Park, maybe. That, that's always a favorite for the outdoor movie nights. I love it, Frank. And Rudy definitely speaks to um, you know. Becoming mm -hmm. the best that you can be with the talent that you have, right? Which is definitely, I think, part of what all of this work is doing, too. You know, how, you, you're a good example of it. I saw um, Iris at the beginning. You know, clearly, you know, we want to see students who, who feel that connection to, to others, you know, to the, to the teachers, to their peers, but that the education experience makes sense and it's relevant. I mean, it has to be relevant, and that, that seems so evident in a lot of the surveys that Ms. Scott was talking about, that, mm -hmm. you know, we have to make sure that the assignments that you're doing, the, the tasks, the activities, really connect clearly to, like, oh, I see how this makes sense for where I want to see, you know, where I want to go and envision my success beyond our high school, and to me, that's our biggest mission for you you know for you for the students is, is to be able to do that so i'm really excited about this work and let's get the movie night going frank we'll work <laughs> on that that'll be a student advisory council supported event how's that absolutely i i thank you very much for your support on this i'm very happy frank's also a great example of how it works really well. So we could have easily um, had Frank read an article or watch a video on how to announce a basketball game or how to record one. Um, but working side by side with FATV is a completely different experience. And those are the experiences that our students are asking for. Tangible, real life. I don't wanna just read about it and hear about it. I wanna actually practice in a safe environment how to do it. I 100% I agree with you, Miss Scott. I totally, I, I, it, it, is, it, it is exactly what I was thinking when I, when I started doing this, when I started working with FATV, that the best way to learn how to do something is to just get out there and do it. Do it. We're going to end on that, Frank. I think that was perfect. Um, so if you do have extra time and you want to check them out, I encourage you to look at some of the artwork. Um, it's super creative and I'm just really proud because a lot of the students are from Fitchburg Public Schools um, from grades two all the way through grade 12. So um, truly representative. We have some South Street artists there 
and um, Fitchburg High School artists as well. But thank you everyone for coming. I know everyone here has a million things that they have to be doing. So truly appreciate that you took the time to, to spend some with us. Thank you, Shelly. Well, thank you. And just as a reminder, this will be available and uh, including the art show to view at your leisure until April 12th on this. Yes. Day. Perfect. Thank and we are going to post it on FATV. So it'll be recorded. A recording will be there. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Hey, Jen. Good job. Uh, oh, hi. Thank you, Jen. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. We'll hi, see you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.